I'm 27 years old and I haven't come across even one woman who hasn't been harassed and that's a very sad thing but fortunately everybody walks around putting on a smile and as if nothing even happened. It shows that we're much more stronger and we think of this body as an instrument but that does not mean that we shouldn't share our experience with another person for two reasons. One is that um, you don't want the offender or the perpetrator to do this to another person and you just want people around to be aware of it and uh, most of the time it's from our say by our relatives or someone whom we know so it's a sad thing again and secondly by sharing this experience with another person whom you trust or whom you love say mom dad friend um, your uh, spouse anyone you end up feeling a little bit liberated a little bit better I hope and not as traumatic as you did so these are two things that I wanted to mention but another thing was um, apart from safety and uh, asking for better punishment uh, for the perpetrators I think it's important for us to um, we are in a very beautiful time where we focus on equal pay, uh, uh, gender equality and a lot of things. And I think it's important that we even stress on discipline. It, it's, I know it's a word which we've learnt in school or in college, but honestly it starts from home. Um, it's simple where you just notice how your children behave over a period of time and you correct them. You can't put the burden on the society and on the cops, on, on the, on the uh, institutions that they are in for discipline. Because once you teach your children how to be, you teach them humility, you teach them how to be humane, I think that will make the world a better place. <clears throat> you have to be better examples, I think. We can't, because the people whom we talk about are not some random people somewhere on some corner of the earth. They are amongst us. And we ourselves at some point of time have uh, uh, been bad to another soul. But then we've moved on from that. It's because of what we've been learned thought from our childhood or what we've observed in our childhood. How you treat your wife and your kids see how you treat your wife and that's how it's going to, the kid is going to grow up thinking that's how you treat a woman. How you, how the kid um, is exposed to an environment where how they look at objectifying a woman and that's how they end up thinking this is normal. So it's important I think instead of looking for ways to uh, solve this problem it has to start from within. Most of us are women over here and um, I'm sure all of us will be great parents. But it's important for us to just not say copulate and just have children. It's our responsibility. Instead of hoping for having a kid who is going to become the next big thing, going to be the best in their industry or field or whatever, it's important for us to make sure that they are not um, uh, 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 a, a pain or some kind of a disturbance to themselves and the society. That is our responsibility. It's not like it's something which we have to do. It is our duty because you brought in uh, a being into this world. Make sure that it does not cause any harm and it does that. It's okay, whatever happens next is up to God and its own talent. So thank you so much for the opportunity. I hope I can just connect with you all in the level that I could from my own experience. And thank you so much for watching what you've all done to make us feel safe. Thank you so much again.